Hi, my name is Dana Bett, and welcome to my YouTube video. And today, what I'd like to share with you is part two of your list building strategies. And today, what I really want to focus on is what is your capture mechanism, okay? So you want to build a list, and you've got a great service or a great product, and you've got a growing list, but how can you grow it even further? Well, one way is your capture mechanism. Simply stated, you know, your landing page or your home page, you know, your hub, you know, that tool that you can use to capture prospects and bring them into your world. And building your landing page. Now, your the offer that you're making, you know, whatever it is, whatever service or whatever product you're offering, you know, and I, I like to use this analogy quite often, you know, if you're promoting golf balls, well, does your web page, does your landing page, does your blog, whatever, is it congruent? Does it, does it line up with whatever it is you're promoting, whatever service or product you're promoting? And as I like to say so often, if you're promoting golf balls, you know, your landing page or your web page cannot be talking about baby formula. They have to be congruent. They have to flow together because someone lands on your landing page expecting to uh, learn about, you know, uh, golf balls and they click on the link, you know, they go to your landing page, they give you their name and email address and then they click on next and it takes them to a site talking about how, you know, Hawaiian vacations. There's no, you're going to lose them right away because there's no congruency, there's no connection. Um, you know, it, it must it must flow together. Another way I've heard it said is um, your message to market match. Your message, whatever your you know whatever your landing page, whatever your initial introduction is to whatever it is you're marketing, to whatever it is you're promoting, those two have to match and be in sequence. And that's where a good landing page or home page, I've also heard it called your capture page, whatever, that's where a good page comes into play. And when you're promoting any service or product online, it can't be just for the money to make a quick dollar because there are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of promoters out there that are all doing that. They're all just promoting junk just to make a few dollars. You have to think, if you want to be successful as an entrepreneur, you have to think long term and build relationship with those prospects, with those individuals that sign up on your list, those subscribers. You want to build a long term relationship, not a quick flash in the pants, so to speak, or flash in the pants, <laughs> depending on how you want to look at it. But you don't want a quick sale just to make a quick buck. You want to build a long-term relationship so you have to you know see the see the big picture and so you know when you're promoting your service or your product you might not make a lot of money on the initial interaction on the initial sale but the repeat sales if you build that relationship and you build a relationship of trust and confidence you'll have i mean you'll you'll in the long run you'll earn a lot more money than the individual that's making a quick buck. In the long run, you know, your return on your investment will be a lot higher. So, um, so again, uh, have, so when, when you're, when you're putting together your, your web page, your home page, your blog, you know, your capture page, whatever you want to call it, you know, that one place where people are going to, you know, that, that they initially land on when they first hear or learn about you. Um, so what you want to do is on that page, you want to uh, share one strategy or, you know, one secret um, you, and um, you want to share and, and use it, you know, use it for your headline or a catchphrase on your homepage. Um, again, using the golf ball analogy, you could have a, you could have a phrase on your landing page or on your homepage saying, um, uh, you know, get quality golf balls at half the price or get, you know, get great golf balls that will help you, you know, will improve your golf game or some catchphrase, something. And again, it's got to be congruent. It's got to match. It's got to, it's got to be in sync uh, with the service or product that you are promoting. So put that on your title, on your, again, on your landing page, your homepage. 
and what are some of the things that you need on your homepage? Well, first of all, um, you know, there are a lot of very inexpensive, even free uh, web page builders, and they look like they are free web page builders. I mean, they look nice, they have nice pictures, and they have have nice graphics, but you want your homepage. You want your, because this is your world you're inviting people into. You want your homepage. You want your landing page to look slick and clean and professional. And, you know, you want it to look inviting to anybody that comes to your page. Secondly, you also want a way on your page, you know, on your home site to be able to capture your visitors. How do you capture their name and email address and so forth? And there's a lot of techniques and strategies to do that, which I can mention here later. But anyway, you want a, a way to capture your visitors. And then thirdly, you need an, a, a method. Uh, you need a method to have visitors being able to sign up for your newsletter or your uh, subscription emails. You need a mechanism where they can put in their name and email address and so forth so you can get them on your list. And you want a page, you know, your page, you want a page where you can promote your service or your product. And, um, you know, and again, not to be uh, obnoxious, but to, in, in a very gracious and professional way to present your service or your product with the mindset of this is what's going to benefit you. I'm not looking to make a ton of money. I'm looking to help you. And that's what you want to communicate on your landing page, your web page, your, you know, your capture page, whatever. And then you also, um, uh, you, you also want to be able to incorporate in your page an introduction on who you are. Tell people, you know, a little bit about your background because you know what? People subscribe and purchase from people a lot easier, a lot faster than they do from a name, nameless or faceless company. And people generally buy on emotion. You know, they have a feeling. They, they they like what they see. They you know you've touched you've touched a nerve so to speak in you know in your prospects um, you know heart so to speak. So people buy on emotion, and so you want to be able to capture you know a, a way to capture who you are and present that to them. Tell them a little bit about your story, maybe your struggles and what you did to overcome them, what you did to become successful, what how you overcame obstacles. Your story can be, you know, your background story can be anything at all, just as long as it's compelling and that it, it has that human element. And then lastly, your your landing page, your blog, your you know, your website, whatever, has to have a blog, a place where you can interact with uh, prospects, with your subscribers, a place where they can leave comments and then you can respond. You know, and that's another way where you can build up a relationship through your hub. And for, you know, just for lack of a better term, we'll just call it the hub. In your hub, you know, having that, that tool to be able to interact with your uh, subscribers, not only through email, that's one way, but when they're in your hub and when you're you know, when they're uh, on your blog, that interaction is priceless. And, you know, you can exchange ideas, you can, uh, you can provide information. There's so much that can go on, you know, in your hub. And that's another aspect that needs to be on your website. And now, what I've just listed here, again, real quick, a professional look and feel, a way to capture visitors, a method to have visitors sign up for your newsletter or your email, uh, subscription, uh, a page to promote your services or your products, a page to introduce yourself, to tell a little bit about yourself, and lastly, a page that has a blog uh, with it as well. And, you know, and these are just the basic elements you need uh, on your you know, landing page or your home page, you know, your hub. And these are the elements that you need to build your list and, and to be successful in building a very interactive list and i say interactive is just if you have say 500,000 names on your list but none of them open your emails none of them interact with you then the list is pretty much worthless i would rather have a list of 500 people that i'm interacting with that have a list of 50,000 people who uh they never open my emails they never interact i'd rather have an active list a small active list than this big huge list of just just names and email addresses. So 
um, that's why you know that's a key element in building your list you know building that relationship through your blog and but this is how you capture prospects and build your list and subscribers who become raving fans now I checked it out and you know to have somebody professionally build a website for you like this can cost anywhere depending upon the complexity and what you're looking for it can cost anywhere between five hundred to ten thousand dollars that's right ten thousand and um, you know so it can be very very costly but if you are interested now <clears throat> what I'm sharing with you um, you know it is, is it's not you know an MLM site or anything like that what I'm sharing with you is a training center, a knowledge center built by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs, where you can get all the tools, the strategies, you can get all of the insight on how to build your own business. And it also uh, offers a tool that you can purchase um, for a nominal, you know, for a small fee, uh, a service that you can purchase that will build your website at a fraction of what these professional um, you know website builders would charge uh, not ten thousand dollars not even a thousand dollars not even five hundred dollars even less than that and it's really I mean it's really important if you are building a business online that you have a professional looking appearance and again one of the tools that's in this learning center will show you how you can build a very very professional looking website a website that looks like it cost you know eight nine ten thousand dollars to build but was only i mean a tiny tiny fraction of that so if you are interested in building your business online and building your presence online with a professional looking website that is slick and that again uh, is very very functional and it's SEO compliant and it's just you know a great service just go to this link right here and not only that but in this link right here you'll also learn how you can build you know how you can acquire the tools the strategies the knowledge the insight on how to build your business online so um, go ahead and check this out. I think you'll be very, very surprised, very, very pleased as a matter of fact. Uh, so thank you very, very much for watching. And if you got any value on this, please leave a comment. Um, I enjoy reading your comments and I respond to all my comments. And, you know, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would very, very much appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and go ahead and check out this link, check out this learning center. I think you'll be very, very pleased with it. And I'm, I'm sure it will meet whatever needs that you have in building your own business online. So thank you so very much for watching. Have a tremendous uh, day and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much.